Welcome back to Teaching Statistical Thinking. In the videos up to today, we've been talking about how do you describe the distribution of a single variable using graphics, bar charts, histograms, and box plots, and via number summaries for center and spread. Today we start where we're going to look at the, is there a relationship between two variables, and we're going to start with the simplest case, looking at the relationship between two categorical variables using a graphic called a mosaic plot. We're going to use our movie data set. Recall that there were 134 movies. I want to look at the relationship between whether a film was produced either by an independent or a major studio and how that relates to whether the production budget fell into the first, second, third, or fourth quartile. Of our 134 movies, 24% were independent and 76% were made by a major studio. The quartiles are split so that 25% of the movies fall into each quartile. The question of interest is, is the distribution of production budget into the quartiles the same for independent movies versus major studios? Now one way we could look at that is we could draw two bar charts. The first one for independent films and the second one for major studios. If I look at our independent films, 53% fell in the first quartile. Nineteen percent fell in the second quartile. Twenty-two percent in the third. And six percent in the fourth. Now if I look at the distribution of production budget for the major studios, 17% fell in the first quartile, 26.5% fell in the second quartile, 26.5% fell in the third quartile, and 30% fell in the fourth quartile. What you'll notice about those two bar charts is they look quite different from the bar chart for production budget with the two types of studios combined. Here we see for independence, most of the movies fell in that first quartile. Only 6% fell in the fourth quartile. For major studios, we see something quite different. Most of the movies fell into the fourth quartile but the distribution is also much more even across the four quartiles. Now we could display this relationship by using two bar charts, but what I'd like you sh to show you today is how we can combine all of this information into a single plot called a mosaic plot. Mosaic plot is really just a Venn diagram. On my x-axis, I'm going to put whether the movie was independent or a major studio. I've, since the independents were about a quarter of the movies, I'll put a mark there for about 24 or 25%, and the major studios will be the other 75%. On my y-axis, I'm going to mark off 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. Along the right side of my plot, I'm going to put a narrow bar that marks off the quartiles at 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Now we're ready to fill in the mosaic plot. I want to display for the independent movies that 53% were quartile 1, 19 quartile 2, 22 quartile 3, and 6% in quartile 4. But I want to do it all within this column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stacked or my bar chart 
and I'm going to rotate it and stack it. So for the first quartile, we mark off 53%. For the second quartile, we want to add 19% to that. So 53 plus 19 brings us up to 72%. And that second box is for the second quartile. Then we want to add 22%. That brings us up to 94% for the third quartile. And then the final 6% is at the top. I'll go ahead and write in the 53%. 19%, 22%, and 6%. Note that they add up to 100%. Now we'll do the same thing for the major studios. For the major studios, we want 17% in the first quartile. Well, that's 17%. We want to add 26.5%, which just brings us up to the 43rd.5 percentile. The next one, we also want to add another 26.5. So 43 plus 26.5 gets us up to 70%. And that leaves our final 30% for the last quartile. This is an example of a mosaic plot. Note, if the production budget was unrelated to the independent or major studio, we'd expect the bars over each to look like this marginal distribution at the right. Each one would have about 25% of their movies in each quartile. Note, though, our mosaic plot shows that that's not the case. Independent, movie, independent movies are much more likely to be in the first quartile than major studio movies are. The major studio movies are much more likely to be in the fourth quartile than are the in independent movies. That shows you how to graph with a single plot the relationship between two categorical variables using a mosaic plot. What we'll do next time is use the information in our mosaic plot to come up with a number of summaries comparing two categorical variables called a contingency table. So I'll see you then.